How you going, Parky? I'm very good. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you properly there. Just need to turn up, uh, turn up my, my volume. Well, Tori Malik uh, has been playing very well. She's just 20 years of age. And she just turned 20 yesterday. Birthday girl. One of the birthday girls here. Gina Kennedy also had a, had a birthday yesterday. She's been steadily, steadily moving up the world rankings, Tori Malik, as have her, her brothers on the world tour. Coached by her father, Cameron. It's pretty, pretty impressive. She's already reached 16 finals, Tori Malik. Such a tender age. Go through Naila, Naila Hillis for some reason. That's come up first. Four in the world. That's the highest world ranking. 28 years of age. In the form of her life, really. Turned pro in back in 2012. And already 12 tournaments. 12 trophies from 21 attempts. Pretty decent win rate, too. For Half time. Naila Hillis. Half time. These two can hear uh, hear the referee. Which Half time. Oh wow! I think we heard him that time. Bless me, eardrums. Tori Malik, 60 in the world. She's been up at 59, as we said. She just turned 20 yesterday. She's uh, been on the tour for five years now already, amassing eight trophies in that time from 16 attempts. It's a very good win rate, just under 70%. For Tori Malik, she'll be relishing this opportunity. She's she really loves the game, and she's got an opportunity here to have a go at one of the very best in the world, Naila Hillis. These two have never played before on the on the PSA World Tour. How do you think she's going to go, Nat? Yeah, um, you know, all my predictions have not been gone to plan <laughs> so far. Um, Just keep going, you'll yeah, get one right I'll eventually. I'll get one right, um, yeah, but um, I, I think Naila will be too strong. I think Tori will put up a fight, but uh, I think I think Naila's just, uh, yeah, uh, in form at the moment. Well, she likes to play quite an attacking game, does, does Tori Malik. And I think that um, that will just be countered probably at this stage of their careers by Naila Hillis. We'll see. You just never know, do you? You never know what. Uh, what no, will it's Naila, it's Naila's first match on uh, on the glass. So uh, same as her sister, who had a bye yesterday. So uh, you know, obviously, sometimes it takes a, a little bit to get used to the glass. And, uh, and Tori obviously was on here yesterday as well. Um, she played um, Yuan Chan and and won that three love. Yeah, just 26 minutes on court, but it, 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 you know, on top of a solo, that's uh, that's a decent amount of practice isn't it yeah. more than Naila Hillis has had anyway in terms of competitive squash on here and yeah it's definitely uh, not within outside the realms of possibility that she could take a game potentially just like uh, Domingos did off uh, Tina Hillis a bit of a slow start for Tina earlier today and, and a good first game from Marta yeah Man in the hot seat for this match will be Sven Lidman. And Miguel Gillant in the VR. Good luck to those chaps. Play will start in 30 seconds. It'll be interesting to see what the tactics are seconds. for Tori, what, what she tries to do to, you know, get Naylor out of her game. German Open 2024 presented by Sportwerk. Women's round two match, Tori Malek of England to serve Nelly Gillis of Belgium to receive best of five game, Lavo. 
but she strikes a good ball. Sorry, Malik. She really does time it well and hits the lines well when she's, when she's in form. I think she's just going to try and do that as best she can. It's a good start for her. One love. Obviously, she doesn't want Hillis to get into any kind of rhythm. I think that's the yeah. that's the key here. I'm sure. I'm sure Nayla will start to try to uh, extend the rallies, get the feel of the court. Um, and out. Yeah. One all. And I'm sure Tori won't want to have the rallies extended too long. Not that she's not fit, but that uh, we all know that Nayla is very fit. She is. Two one. Just a bit careless there, wasn't she? Yeah. Just didn't quite uh, organise her feet, Malik. Tori Malik yesterday just after a match and she was um, just going back to her room with a meal for one so that's how she celebrated her 20th her birthday, birthday. <laughs> I don't think many 20 year olds would, would celebrate in that way but it's good it's good that she's, she's being very professional as you'd expect see this is the, the kind of hitting that uh, can expect from sorry Malay. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Not holding back there. Yeah, those Two crosses from Nayla are just not wide enough at the moment, and that could be due to the fact she hasn't played on the court yet. Yeah, yeah, just finding her feet. Yeah, great depth and width there from Hillis. And out for two. Stroke to Gillis. 5-2. Oh, that was a bit unnecessary from the, from the serve. Yeah, it was unnecessary. Unforced there, that return of serve into the tin. shorter yeah just try to really define the shot that you're playing I guess chance here out oh. where, this? where did they come Jackpot. from <laughs> Sometimes see one ball come down, but two. That's three. Uh, yeah. Isn't there three? Well, it's with the ball that they are oh using. Yeah, two extra. Yeah, yeah. Two extra. <laughs> Thank you. That's a Left side. That's a first on squash TV. It's got to be. Seven, two. I reckon they ought to be made to play with all three. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, do drop in. And out. Three, an apology seven. there from Malik. I'm not sure how genuine it was. If only you could play those intentionally, Nat. Oh, I did all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so 
teach me. At times of rushing it, doesn't she? Yeah, she does out. hit the ball well, but occasionally Eight. just just Three. snatches at the ball. Yeah, it was an opportunity. She got it. She didn't get that one though. <laughs> Quickly onto that for a reverse angle. I don't think anyone really expected that no, shot. No. <laughs> Four, eight. Good dig, but an opportunity for Phyllis. Not up. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Good control there from the back of the court, just running it nice and Five, low. Eight. The good thing about that shot, she didn't try to overhead it either. She no. just the pace was exactly right. Stroke to Gillis. Hand out, nine, five. Out. Ten, five. Game ball. So five, five game balls? Five game balls it is for the Belgian. How many does she need? That's better hitting from Tori at the moment. A bit more positive. Well played, good stretch, good balance there. Great rally. Yeah, and appreciated out. by Hillis Six as well, that ten. shot. Game ball. So one saved for Malik. <laughs> oh, it's gone up again. Down. Maybe she does practice them then. <laughs> yeah. 7-10, game ball. Not up. 11-7, game to That's a nice shot, just a late boast there. One She's game to love. That's one aspect of Phyllis's game she's really improved on. In the last couple of years, the, the angles and the, the drop shots, the general short game, but a little bit of extra delay and disguise. So it's the first time these two have met on the PSA World Tour. And it's Naila Hillis who takes the advantage here, taking the first game 11-7 in 10 minutes. She leads by one game to love. To start with now, I'm just going to be doing more mobility because it's first thing in the morning. Going forward, I want my, my skill level all over the court to be higher. We're going straight across now to the, uh, to the gym. Ninety in there, boys. Oh, yeah. 
that's the one. Yeah, I ended up getting quite hard at the back end of the day. David Rissom in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Gillis leads one game to love. Love all. Well, Naylor Hillis has hit the ground running here in Hamburg. This inaugural German Open. Playing some pretty good squash in this first game. Terry Malek's played, played a pretty good game as well in her first opportunity against the world number four. Certainly hasn't disgraced herself. Not up. One love. Really nice volley. And out. One all. Yes, let. One all. Balls are popping out quite quickly on this court. It's uh, normally on some glass courts they seem to run right through, but as soon as that ball hits that side wall, it's stopping short. So yeah, it gives the other person the opportunity to to attack off that. Yeah, definitely. It looks quite grippy on that. You've got to get that ball running. Got to get the lines. <laughs> Talking the lines. That Two was just the right width. Just. Uh, Felt Hillis coming over to the right a little. Nothing, nothing wrong with the movement. Yeah. Just needed to lift that right a little side. bit higher, I feel. 3-1. And a little bit slower, maybe, but it was just right onto Tori's racket there. It certainly was, yeah, and it was a good shot by Malek. And yep. I think that was, the, that was the correct decision. Oh, lovely shot. It's not bad. Not bad from the youngster. 4-1. Here she is with a 4-1 lead. See if she can keep it going. Yeah, I definitely think she. I mean, she's got the talent to potentially sneak a game here. Maybe it could be this <laughs> second. Up. And that's a nice touch shot there from Phyllis. Tidying and out it well. Two, four. The Belgian, the number one seed here, alongside her sister, who's number two seed. Quite far over to the right there, I thought, uh, yeah. Malik. Yeah. Yes, let. They review Malik on I the yes, let position. Let, I think. Possibly. I mean, let's have another look. It was close. Naylor thinking that it, that wasn't worth a stroke, but when you see it from there, just enough daylight. It's yeah, a poor shot, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think there was enough room to play. Yeah, enough room for cross court. Yes, that decision upheld. 
Malik has one review remaining. You felt there was more space, you should hit it next time. That's fair enough. Um, from the right, 2-4. That was a long ball bounce. I counted 162 <laughs> there. She doesn't quite quick though, usually. 3-4. <laughs> Not as quick as Noran Goha. 16 bounces that one. I'll hit. Goha's a really aggressive. Very aggressive. <laughs> Hard hit, balls into the floor. Out. Four, all. So she's leveled it back now to four, all. Ooh, 17 that time. <laughs> Different process. I still think they take less time than the men in between games, even with all those bounces. <laughs> uh, between points, sorry. Yeah, well, we're not even going to mention the last the last men's match. Shut up. <laughs> Let's not go there. Hand out. Five. Four. What a Lovely shot that shot. was. Brilliant. Brilliant skill. It's coming down nicely on the ball. Good technique from Malik. You can just see that Hillis is, is trying to move her, her tall opponent around the court with those mm. boasts, but mm. I think sometimes Six, it's just um, four. the quality's not quite there. out. Looked like it. a grip Five, slipped there a little six. bit. A lot of time for that to happen. So Malik's really mixing it up. She's using slow balls and then low hard kills, which I think six it, all. It, it stops Naylor getting into that uh, fast rhythm, which she really, really loves. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's promising from Malik. Shows that she's thinking about what she's doing, she's thinking about her tactics. Oh, well, it's a good dig, but essentially she had to play quite a loose Seven, shot to get it out. Six. Well punished by his number one seed. Few too many uh, unforced errors, I feel, from Tori. Oh, that was a brilliant shot. It was yeah. quite close to her body. She had to improvise slightly yeah. here. Yeah. Out. Not wide enough from there. Seven. But very True. well put away. Eight. Asking for let? Yes, let. <coughs> Play review, Malik on the yes, my let. My first position. instinct was a no let. Mine was as well, but then I think it sort of slightly hit the join, popped out a little bit, which might have I kind of aided Hillis. Made, made yeah. one little step to the left or something. And sure. Just went very, very close to that uh, nick between the... And it was quite short. I yeah, the I kind of feel she should have gone forward to it. I actually think it's, I think it's a let ball. I think the second bounce was way before Tori's uh, feet. I think the second bounce was at the, at the blue line. Mm. 
Yes, that decision upheld. Malik has no reuse again, remaining. <laughs> Seven, eight. I have you're a not wrong. I have a you different have way you have of a different at opinion. Yeah. 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 You're not definitely wrong. I mean, who knows who's right? side it looked like a minimal interference you should play that P play play on please eight all well Naila Hillis is saying that she didn't really have too much choice there it was the the contact happened uh, as she played which I guess is I guess you is a fair you argument you, you could see it but uh, then also uh, you kind of need to put your hand up straight away yeah. rather than waiting for the ball to hit sure. the tin because if, her if it, it went up yeah you know, and well. not just up but in the neck yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't have complained out. Good line, Excellent. very good line and length there from Hillis. Just, just a very, Ten very eight. small bit of hold as well. Just making Malik just have to check her movement. So two game balls for the number one seed here. To take a two love lead. Stroke to Malik. I'm not too surprised with that, Nat. No. Yeah, she's not happy, Nella, but she's not going to uh, review it. Nine, ten. Game ball. What up? Oh, fantastic shot. Yeah, it's I good saw team, the ball, ball good. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, okay. I saw it good. Ten all. The play must close, be by two points. Very, I'm not very sure close. if it bounced funny, but uh, didn't look like it that did. That could be the spin off the yeah. off, off the racket anyway. I mean, it looked good on the front wall. Sometimes he just clips the blue line. But we're in a tie break. Oh, she really does hit it well, doesn't she? Sometimes yeah. when she gets herself nice and still and stable, Malik. Referee decision. Malik's up. I thought there was a little bit of space there. Yeah, but my first instinct was a stroke, even though I feel. But wasn't wasn't it behind her slightly when she was going to go and hit it? I think she played a cross court there in into the body of into the body of Malik. I don't think she had the cross court option there really. Oh, you don't think she was in a good position to play the... Yeah, the I don't think she's court. in a position for, for a cross court, but there we go. Stroke to Gillis. Hand out. 11-10. So another game ball. ball here for the Belgian. No, absolutely not. She nearly took her head off there, but <laughs> <laughs> not obviously and she was within her right to, take to, to play that shot and stand her ground there. I, f I feel Naylor doesn't look comfortable out there at no. all. You know, Tori's not letting her get into her rhythm at all. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, it, it can feel quite intimidating to play against a tall player who hits the ball this well. Okay. You know, yeah. I, I've been in that situation before. Twelve, eleven, and you feel like they're. They're volleying everything, they're hitting great kills. And yeah. 
you know, especially if you're the one that's expected to win, you're the, the number one seed. Yeah. It can be a bit stressful. Last two into the front left corner, a bit too high, a bit nervy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, she's not getting the drop shots where she usually gets them, Hillis. Yeah, that's well played. Good under pressure there, Hillis. Just had to execute that drop shot. Plenty of margin for error. Pinned out, 12 all. I'd like to see Naila use the lob a lot more. I know she can. Uh, a lot of the time she uses it in defense where I, I feel like sometimes she could use it as a weapon because she has quite a good lob. Definitely. And yeah. especially on, you know, wi with someone tall, if you can get a little bit higher and, uh, and it's dying in the back there. Absolutely. It's always well a good variation, the lob. Great pressure there from this. Another opportunity 12. now for Game ball. the Belgian. Down. 14 12. Well, again, it just looked like she Philippe lost the grip, but either Philippe. that or just a little bit too casual from, from Malik. And it's a sigh of relief for Naila Hillis. Number one seed as she comes off the court with a, a two level lead here. Taking that second game, 14 12 in a tie break in 17 minutes. Hillis leads by two games to love. Well, it's a big improvement from. The English youngster here, 20-year-old Tori Malik. She's playing some wonderful low kills. That's what she's, uh, it's a big part of her game. She really strikes the ball wonderfully well. Nice and low, gets some fantastic lines. There was a great example on the on the backhand side. Uh, good bit of disguise. She was taking some uh, opportunities well, but a little bit unfortunate to finish the game. <laughs> in 30 seconds. Step your seat. Hillis leads two games to love. Love all. No. So that's a good and start out. for the Malik in this One game. Up. Right Certainly up the is. serve. Whatever happens here, Malik's given a good account of herself. Yeah. That's for sure against the world number four. And she'll want more. She'll want to try and get this, this third game, having got so close in 
in the second. She's definitely got the uh, the weapons and, and the talent to be able to do it. But obviously, uh, as you know, it's not just about talent. It's what's between the ears. It's experience. It's everything. And now it's and one Ella Hillis has got uh, an abundance of experience these days. Yeah, and definitely. Really pushing the uh, the top three now. Nice finish, very Two clinical one. there from Hillis. Great rally down the back end, that was. And a nice finish. Right side. Came from that tight ball. Three, one. Yeah, well appreciated by Malik as well. Nice to see. Oh, don't review that. I, I feel for her. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 I thought she was okay. reviewing she as well. Yeah. That one without hitting you. All right. So hand out two, three. Bit of a miscommunication there in um, hand signals. Lovely drop from the back of the court. Hand out for two. No. Uh, it was a sitter, wasn't it? Yeah, it that's really unfortunate, was. huh? But. Uh, Five left side. Well, they're the occasions where I feel that that Malik's just Five, put in a, two. a drop shot. It's, you know, because you can just give yourself that margin for error, can't you? Or just not so low. Like the kill, it the well kill is I mean. fine. You yeah, know, just not just so low. Uh, it didn't have to be an outright winner. I just think you can be a little bit more careful sometimes on the on the drop. You've got that much space and time, just flop it in. It's just a little bit a little bit easier sometimes. Not up. Thank you. Hand out. Three, five. She's definitely taken it to Nayla, though. I feel I, I, I don't, I don't see that Nayla looks. Uh, yeah, she's just not comfortable out there. And no, that's due to Tori not letting her yeah, feel comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. Yes, let's. Three, five. Yeah, it's, it's often a difficult experience when there's so many reasons, really. One is that she's number one seed. She's playing someone she's never played before. Yep. She's a youngster. Yep. You know, she's only just turned 20. Sorry, Malik. She's an up-and-comer. And, -comer and uh, you know, it can be uh, so this. quite stressful. <laughs> no, it's quite amusing. I've seen, I, I've seen someone lay flat on the floor. <laughs> and, and, no. uh, and the Six referee gave a stroke. Three. And he was like, yeah, but if he hit me, he was going to hit the floor first. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, Malik looked like she was um, playing doubles tennis then. She was waiting for the serve at the net to go over her head. Not up. That was a really nice ball drop from Naylor. She looked a little bit more confident with that one. You Seven. can tell by her body language Three. as well. She's really hitting her stride now, Hillis. She was a bit nervy in that second, but happy to be in this position, 2-11, 7-3. Yep. That 
for seven. And out for seven. Oh, that's a beauty. Beauty, well appreciated by Hillis. Five. Good seven. to see. We had a great angle as well. We just saw that <laughs> that ball rolling out Beautiful, the net. Yeah. She's loving those kills, isn't she? Yeah, I mean it's a big it's a big part of the game. So I guess uh, when, I, when, I when I used to play when I used to play someone who was so Eight tall five. and used to kill the ball a lot, I used to be like, okay, I'm going to make sure I hit the ball low first because then they cannot play they down on the ball. Yeah. yeah, they have to lift and they have to bend down to it as well. Which isn't always easy when you're yeah. when you're a tall player. Can you name any names? And out. <laughs> Can I Six name eight. Any, anyone you uh, that was particularly tall that you used to play? Um, yeah, obviously you have someone like SJ. Yeah. Who's quite. I mean, you have to be very careful when you take it in because she she could hold the ball quite quite well. You could get into trouble if you let it, let it sit up, you know. So you have Put to up. really play it well. But Thank uh, you. Yeah, I mean. It, Actually, all of them were tall compared to me, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Seven, some eight. taller than, than others, though. I guess uh, Raneem's not been sort of described. Raneem and Nicole aren't described as tall, but no. yeah, it's all, no. it's all relative. Oh, that's a lovely line. Yeah. That is a really good line. Just, eight just that all. extra little bit of height to take it through. You see, it's even just bouncing before the back of the, the, the front of the service box, but still, the pace of it, fantastic. Yes, let. Eight yeah, all. I'd be a little bit disappointed as well if I was Malik in that situation. No reviews left for the English woman. Good line from Hillis. And out. Nine. Eight. Down. Yeah, yeah just, down just down. clip the top of the tin. You okay, Miss Gillis? And out. I think she's more upset Nine with herself for hitting it down. Oh, that's a bit of a <laughs> quite a solid knock there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think I think Naila, Naila's tactic is to obviously extend the rallies, but as I said, you know, Ten, like uh, you know, ball, if ball. it bounces mid court or anything, any opportunity, Tori's just uh, hitting those kills. Yeah, I mean, she, she'll go for it. Yeah. Absolutely, she, she won't hold back. So game ball here for the youngster. Out. Oh, it just went away from us so quickly. And so Hillis. Ten all. The play must be by two points. Into the tie break in this third. Another tie break in this match. Eleven ten. Match ball. Just him, him Alec uh, berating herself there, just a bit short on the the length attempt. So match ball now for the number one seed. really trying to Down. press up the court and it's paid dividends. The errors come from Malik in the end and 11, seven, it was a good performance. She'll be proud of herself 12, there, 10. Tori Malik. Two, yeah. two tie breaks, didn't quite uh, convert the game but Nola Hillis would be very pleased. 11-7, yeah. 14-12, 12-10. Hillis comes through three love in 40 minutes. Yeah, I think she'll be a little bit disappointed there that she couldn't get a game out of it but she should definitely be happy with herself because she put in quite a good performance there. Ladies and gentlemen, great performance there. Can Tori Malik, 
Mele, congratulations. Um, Tori, what a player. She's just uh, 20 years old, just 20 yesterday. Um, I, we've got to get the speed gun on her, I think. She's got to be one of the hardest hitters, I think, in the game. Um, and so difficult to deal with when she's in those set pos positions and just unleashes. 100%. She's definitely one of the strongest players on tour at, 20, at only 20 years old. And I mean, I've never played her on the PSA tour before, but I've watched her a lot and I knew uh, the weapons she had and what a danger she was. So I was I was very aware of she was what she was capable of, but I felt like when I was hitting it hard, she could match the pace and hit it even harder and use the kills. When I tried to slow it down, she had she could hit down on it and she was still hitting. So I, I was like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'm just happy that I stayed calm and found my targets in the back. And but she's definitely gonna be uh, she's definitely one to watch for for sure. Um, and in terms of coming into tournaments now, number one seed, which has happened a few times this season, um, how does that feel in comparison to, say, a few years ago when you were more in that chasing pack? Um, you know, at bronze and silver level, you're one of the, you know, one of the top players now. How, how do you deal with that pressure? Yeah, it's definitely a different kind of pressure. Um, I feel like I have... I feel like I've, I have a little bit of experience now and I'm a bit more relaxed now than I was when I was first one seed and I felt so much pressure, but now I, I just let it go. It's just a number. I feel like the entire women's tour at the moment is so strong, so I really have to just take it one match at a time. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to be on court and it's, it's actually a privilege to, you know, to be number one seed and I try to look at it like that. And, and I feel like your sister's often been on the other side of the draw <laughs> when you've been the top seed. Do you sit down and sort of plan your schedule together? Because it looks like you play quite a few of the same tournaments. Yeah, we don't. We just, I guess we just like the same tournaments, but uh, I'm happy that she's on the other side of the draw. And if, if we do play each other, it's in the final, which is a lot nicer than, uh, well, if I had to play her, it's, it's an, I'd prefer to be in a final. So. Okay, and you've, you've had some great finals together as well. Um, looking forward to your quarterfinal tomorrow. Congratulations. We'll see you back on here. Ladies and gentlemen, Nayla Phyllis.